So oftentimes when you read these accounts in the news of so-and-so fell down the rabbit hole and they were radicalized online, and then they wound up going and doing something dangerous or violent, what you have to do is read down to paragraph 17, where it tells you, oh, the person had diagnosed psychopathologies, which were untreated, and they were living in isolation due to the pandemic, and they lost their job, and this, that, and the other thing. So you have this whole bag of circumstances that's probably more causal than the belief in this conspiracy theory. Mm. So what you wind up figuring out, it's the people that are potentially dangerous, not the idea. <laughs> so, so a lot of people are running around out there chasing their tail. Like, oh, it's the idea, it's the idea. And we got to stop the idea, just get it off the internet and somehow the bad things won't happen. And it's just not the case.